Hi everyone, so today we're going to be having a look at the February subscription to Occult Box. I had quite a few people recommend this box when I asked for suggestions on what to review, so I thought this would be a nice one to look at. This was their Ghoulish Night Inn to pamper your inner demon. It also includes items from VE Cosmetics and Hannah Horror. So, I think it's time we should have a look at this. So, it came with this little postcard here saying, A silhouette in the moonlight, rebirth of the night. In darkness they will echo, in twilight they take flight. Come to me, sweet familiar, let my voice guide you home. We're both safe once the sun sets, in the castles we shall roam. That's cute. So that is our little postcard. Let's have a look inside, shall we? I'm quite excited for this because I don't know what to expect. Okay, so we've got another little thing here. This one is Hannah Horror. Self-care requires a little human sacrifice. It's cool. So I don't really know what to expect with this. I like how it's packaged though. Move that out the way. Okay, so it looks to be filled with um, treats already. Let's go for this one first. So first we have got Satan's Soak. It's rose petal bath salts with a mystery crystal as well. I want to know what the crystal is. I can't see, so I'm guessing. Unless that's it there. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll find out. This is perfect because obviously I'm recording this on the night of the snow moon, so I can give myself a little treat later. Let's have a look at this one. So this is the Sam, Samane, Samhain, Samhain. I can never pronounce them. Samane wax melt in the scent sweet pumpkin. Let's see if I can open it. There we go. So it's got like these little pumpkins here by the look of it. It smells really nice. It's quite sweet and also has like a slightly nutty scent, I think. But that's really nice, the scent of that. And they're shaped as little stars. What have we got next? A nail file, nail clippers, nail scissors, and a cuticle pusher slash nail cleaner. So a little manicure set. Oh, that's so cute. Let's have a look, shall we? So there's nothing in the front pocket there. But this would be nice just, just like a little coin purse as well. There we go. So that's our little manicure set there. And you've got a nice little bag there too. Ooh, what to go for next? So look at this. Oh, okay. I used to love these when I was younger. My sister and I would always get one. So we have a mood ring here to show if you're stressed, nervous, angry, relaxed, calm, upset, happy, or romantic. Let's have a little look at what this mood ring is like. That's cool. So we've got a little skull mood ring there. Let's pop it on. I think I'll need to expand it because I've got quite big fingers. That's a shame, it doesn't really want to expand. But I'll put it on my little finger just to give it a test. You can already see there, it's changing colour. So getting 
like pinks and purples, so happy slash romantic maybe? I don't know. That's really cool. I didn't realise as well that the um that the eyes are part of the mood ring. So that's really nice. Okay, so we've got a little good luck bracelet here. Ghouls just wanna have fun. A good luck bracelet there. Some divination dice. I'm really into my dice. Um, I play a lot of D&D, so I have quite a few dice sets as well. So for me, this is awesome. So this is our divination dice. We've got skulls on each side of them there. So for the divination dice, that's our little list. I'll hold it there and if you want to have a look or pause it, you can do. So you basically roll the dice and discover your fate. You throw the dice and add the two numbers that appear on the face of the dice together to find your fortune number. Use the key below to reveal your fortune. Ooh. I might have to give that a try. I'm going to lift this out of the way for now. Just so we've got a bit of room. Okay, so next in the box we have Trick or Treat Yourself Little Vegan Cola Skulls. I love fizzy cola things, so they actually look really nice. You probably can't see it that well. But that's our little skulls there. We have two weeping candles they are black tapered dinner candles that bleed and ooze red wax blood um so when it starts to burn it drips red producing a fantastic weeping blood effect i've seen these before and i have always wanted to set because i think they look really cool so that is our weeping candles pop them there Oh, so we've got as well some little tweezers here. They're really cute. So you've got a little, a little cat face there on our tweezers. So I'll pop that there with the other stuff. Okay, so next, I think this is maybe a coaster. Yeah, so we've got a little coaster here saying the demon drink. That one's by Alchemy. That's pretty cool. It's not really my style, but it is cool. Next, we've got these adorable socks. I'm wondering if they're knee highs. I think they are. So we've got some knee-high socks there with little skulls on. I do actually quite like those. And I'm forever losing socks. I don't know if you guys have a sock monster. <laughs> I definitely do. Okay, so next we've got the Demon's Drink, a vegan hot chocolate kit. Wonder what this includes then. We've got little ghost sprinkles for our vegan hot chocolate. Look at them! Oh, I love those. We've got some vegan marshmallows as well. And some vegan chocolate. 
So it doesn't say how to make your hot chocolate. So I assume you just melt the chocolate down, add some milk, and then you can use your marshmallows and little sprinkles. I love those sprinkles, they're adorable. Okay, so we're getting towards the bottom here. So this is VE Cosmetics. Never hide your magic. Magic is the truest art form. Okay, so this is what we got from VE Cosmetics. Relax, sweet demon. A corpse paint face mask. Self-care for the metal AF. So you remove any makeup slash paint and prepare to receive a hydration boost. Crank the stereo up to 11 and relax. Okay, I'm curious as to what that will look like. I'll probably use that a little bit later today. I'll put a picture up on my Instagram channel. Let's see if we can... Oh no, the ring! So we've also got resting in peace, do not disturb, or ghouls night in, keep out. I actually really like that. I do think this is a really nice little pump pack that we're getting here. So next we've got this little card here. Dreams are fleeting, only nightmares last forever. So this one is Hannah Horror. Also got a 10% off code there. So this is our print from Hannah Horror. Again, it's not really my style, but the artwork on that is really quite impressive. Um, I like how she's done the hair and the horns. It's so detailed and it is actually really cool. And then finally in the box, we have got spooky book of things to do when you're bored to death. So we have a word search. A little crossword and a colouring page. Ghouls just want to have fun. An anagram puzzle. Another colouring page there. A maze and a word search. If you've got it, haunt it. And the answers are in the back there as well. That's cute. So that is the end of our occult subscription box. So this particular box I bought as a one-off purchase. So it was £23 with £3.20 postage. So it was basically £26.20. Um, and 20 pence. You can, of course, subscribe to the box. And if you do subscribe, you get it at a cheaper price. I believe the subscription charge is £25, which includes shipping. And the box that they are having next month is a witchy themed one. So I might be tempted to try and get that again. So yeah, that's our occult subscription box. I'm actually really impressed with the amount of stuff that you get in there for £26. So I'll just have another quick look at everything we got our weeping candles our knee-high socks our do not disturb sign and face mask we got our bath salts there our little manicure set and tweezers our coaster, some wax melts, a little skull mood ring, the little bat purse, divination dice, um, cola skulls there, our hot chocolate mix, and then of course we got the art print and the Book as well so thank you very much to occult box for the february subscription box i overall i'm really happy with everything that you get in here so some of the things in here are stuff that i wouldn't typically go for for example the coaster and the mood ring there and then the art print as well 
they aren't things that I would usually go for. But overall, I think everything in the box is really, really pretty. And you do get a lot of stuff for your money. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. As always, I will leave links in the description below to their website and social media. And I hope you all have a fantastic week. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye!